Hello and welcome to Witchy Wellness Radio. I'm your host, Lauren Cholantani, women's holistic health coach and fellow recovering perfectionist. This podcast was created to show you that your body is not in the way, it is actually leading your way. I am very particular about the type of CBD and hemp products that I use. There's so much hype and lack of testing and quality in the industry. So the company that I love and use is Evo Hemp. Not only do they have a beautiful product like hemp seeds, CBD oil, gummies, even hemp chocolate, protein bars, protein powder. They also support a 40-acre co-op farm in Minnesota, which is farmer-owned, focusing on bringing quality and innovation back to black, indigenous, and other socially disadvantaged farmers. So if you are looking into trying any type of CBD or hemp products, head over to evohemp.com. The link is in the show notes. And make sure you use code WITCHY, W-I-C-T-H-Y, for 20% off of your purchase. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I'm very excited to talk all things manifestation and menstruation. And I know we have all heard or felt that this is more of a curse than a blessing, but after today's training, you will start to understand not only the power of this time of the month, but your emotions and how that actually can help you transform your life. So before we jump in, I just wanted to remind you guys, here are a few tips today to kind of get the most out of our training to try to turn off all the distractions you have, focus on just this one thing. If you're listening to the recording, pause, get yourself in a good place, quiet place, get a journal ready if you want. You can always re-listen to this. We'll have some hands-on journaling questions and activities. And make sure to keep an open mind and open heart because we're going to be diving deep into a lot of emotions and it might come up with, you know, some things you weren't expecting to come up and that is okay. And if you guys stick around for the end, uh, make sure to stay because I have a special bonus to tell you guys about, but I'm very, very excited. So without further ado, there we go. wouldn't it be magical if you had the confidence to leave all the haters and the analysis paralysis behind in the past, which includes your own mind, empowered to be more aware of what your thoughts and emotions really mean having unlimited focus and stamina to actually live and achieve your dreams, expansive and unbounded energy to propel you forward, and love your body. This is what we're going to be talking about today for always guiding you in the right direction. How often have you guys felt like this, that your period, your body, or your emotions are were a curse, that you constantly feel like this emotional mess that sometimes can't get off the floor, that your thoughts and emotions and even sometimes your body feel like they're sabotaging any vestige of your happy life, that your dreams start to bubble up, but you get sucked down this never ending hamster wheel of overwhelm and procrastination, leaving you feeling hopeless, like nothing will ever change. You constantly feel held back and exhausted by the anxiety or your emotions that you cannot truly live your life. So we're going to be working through all of these. And what I want to ask you guys is to take a second to think about this. Close your eyes. Does any of this resonate with you? Where do you want to be a year from now, five years from now? And what is holding you back? And it's always you. It's always the, you know, the self-sabotaging, the not enough, the excuses, the not putting yourself first. So as we go through this training, I want you guys to think, if not now, when? Because so many women that I work with, and myself included, ambitious, recovering perfectionist overachiever, put every single other person, every single other thing before themselves. So this training is just for you. These are simple impactful, actionable things that you are going to be able to use, not only during the time of the month, 
but every single day of your life. And if you don't have your period for whatever reason, it doesn't matter. This whole training still applies that it goes with the cycles of the moon. If we didn't have any artificial light, women would tend to sync up with their period with either the new moon or the full moon. So it does not matter if you have a period or if you're even a woman at all. This all will apply to you. Have you taken the anxious personality quiz yet? Real talk. Not all anxiety is created equal, nor can you manifest the same way with it. Yes, that's true. You can manifest with your anxiety. I created this quiz so you can figure out how your anxiety manifests in your life, your emotions, your thoughts, and your actions. And when we have more insight into what our triggers and how to catch them faster, we're able to make lasting change and amplify what we want to manifest in our life. You can find out your anxious personality type at anxiousquiz.com. Learn to embrace and manifest with your anxiety today. What we're going to go over today is number one, why your period is actually a blessing. And yes, all of the acne, all the painful cramps, all of the moody emotions are leading to your potential, to your dream life. They are not in the way. Second, we're going to go over how to harness this power. Okay, maybe this is a blessing, but what do we actually do? What are the steps? How can I apply this? And we're going to learn the easy process on how to harness this power of not only your body, but your emotion to magnetize your manifestations. And lastly, the top three ways that are holding you back from being your best self, the top ways ambitious women self-sabotage and how stop them in their tracks. You're only just a few tweaks, I promise, away from living your dreams. So more on me. The left picture is me over a decade ago, and this is a more recent picture. And why am I teaching this class? Well, over a decade ago, I had my first panic attack, and it was during my college graduation I didn't know what was going on. I almost didn't walk across the stage. My whole family was there, excited to see me finally step into my new life as an adult. And for years after, I had chronic anxiety. I was suffering in silence, multiple panic attacks a day. I knew that there was something more for me out there than this. Like I I was 22 years old, but I was having a quarter-life crisis already. And it took me showing up and trying new things, trying things differently every single day to heal these. I was so anxious, I couldn't even go to a yoga class because I was too scared. I wouldn't know what was going to happen next. And even though over the years I cleaned up my diet, I did start to go to yoga and became a yoga teacher. I lost a bunch of weight. I felt better in my skin. It all came to a T when I was uh, pending a divorce. I started to really be like, oh my God, if I believe in all this stuff, manifestation, that I really create my own reality, what am I doing here? How did I manifest this? It's not the other person. This is me. And not only that, I had been a lifelong victim of PMS, my period, since day one of my first period. But during this relationship, I had chronic UTIs, yeast infections. My body was literally screaming at me. At the time, I would literally yell at my body to just, could you please just act normal for once and let me be happy? But this was my origin story, my superhero, my witchy woman origin story to lead me to where I am, to where I'm going, to my dream life, that this is really where I started to learn and really understand, even though it wasn't comfortable, that our body and emotions are not in the way they're leading the way, even though you might be in pain, even though you might feel like a victim to your period. It's guiding you where to adjust, where to look, where to heal in order for you to transform your life. But not only that, find out who you are at a deeper level. And that is what sparked me to be where I am today. I combined manifestation with emotions and working with your body because I believe every single thing, every single thing is happening for us. 
And I cannot stress this enough that this is not an overnight success. It's about showing up every single day. And I still do this every day, overcoming myself, listening to what's coming up because it takes those baby steps. We didn't get here overnight and you should not expect an overnight success. But for me, I was able to over years to figure out what I really want in life, who I really am, which is unfolding more and more every day to now really pursuing my dreams to be able to speak to you guys here tonight, or if you're watching the replay, to recently moving across the country to the Sunshine State, to be somewhere where I didn't even realize I wanted to be. And it just feels more and more like me. So things that might seem like an obstacle are really leading the way. And with that being said, what if the curse was actually the cure? So we were taught, we were taught to be afraid of where our power actually lies. So with this training, I want you guys to take a second to open your hearts, to open your minds that maybe my body, maybe my period, maybe my emotions, maybe the thing that I hate the most about myself or my life is not a curse. It's not a problem. It's actually the cure. It's actually leading my way to what I've always ever wanted, which is me being me. So let's dive in here. Why your period is a blessing. So let me move my screens around here. Like I said before, it really took me <laughs> a slap across the head to realize that, okay, if I do believe that I create my own reality, yes, I might think that law of attraction, Abraham, manifestation is cool. It, you know, things can just appear out of thin air. But if I truly believe that I am the creator of my reality, where does this belief fall short? Is it in your emotions? Is it the way you think about or feel about your body, your period, maybe your finances, maybe about attracting the love of your life? If you really believe this is true, this means that every single thing is happening for you, like we just went over. And this includes your period. And this is why I wanted to start this conversation, start this training with really drilling this point home. If you took nothing else away today from this training, is that if I truly believe that I create my reality, where does this belief fall short? Look in any area of your life where you feel like you're not where you want to be, that you're really judging yourself on, that you're hitting your head against the wall about you might need to take a look underneath the hood there and we're going to be working through that process and how you can actually do that and take a deep dive and heal those wounded beliefs and those false beliefs and how to move forward. So another thing about your period, Eckhart Tolle, the power of now, you guys might've heard of him. He's a big self-help spiritual guy, explains the concept of the pain body. It's where our suffering comes from. It includes our past suffering and not just our personal past suffering, but also the suffering of humanity. So on top of we create our reality, my belief currently is that, you know, the thing that we might have heard of is karma, but all these emotions from this lifetime or maybe a past lifetime are stored in our bodies. And we're not taught in today's society how to really let go and express these emotions, but they're actually stored in our bodies. And that's where disease comes from. Their, your body is in disease. So when our period, our PMS symptoms come up every month, the cramps, the acne, the mood swings, the depression, the anger, this is an opportunity as women every single month 
to access this pain body at a deeper level than anybody else on the planet. So this is why it is such a blessing because you can just deep dive into feeling, into healing everything that we've suppressed, everything that is stagnant and stuck on our body. Because if we really do create our reality and this is stuck in our body, our subconscious mind rules 90% of our mind, our actions, our thoughts, and our emotion. And that subconscious part is happening in the background without us even realizing it. The conscious part is less than 10%. So when we have this opportunity, this concept of the pain body to take a deep look at all those things bubbling up, it's an opportunity for deep healing, aka deep manifestation work to happen. So like I said before, each month, we have this power to access this pain body, to feel and to release. And if we truly believe that everything is happening for us, why wouldn't our periods be the same way? Our pain body, our periods can be accessed at any time. This is all happening for us and not against us. It is leading the way. And remember, open up, surrender, trust, and let your body lead the way.